Hello, welcome to another App Store optimization session with Incipia. Today's topic is one of our other favorite ASO tools, AppTweak, showing you a few of the things that we like to use AppTweak for and giving you an overview. Uh, AppTweak is a Belgium-based ASO company, and here we've got our favorite showcase app, Goalie, uh, that we're going to be running through here. <clears throat> and you can see at the bottom there's some videos for anybody who may be new to ASO, uh, as well as the Learn ASO section of the uh, the website, ASO University. So, hopping into our app, we're going to see first an overview uh, of all the things that we could optimize and all the elements uh, that are in our app listing. Uh, so there's a checklist here, uh, similar to mobile action, it'll tell you check, try this, try that, uh, make sure that all the best practices are followed. And what's nice here is that we can see a comparison of all the competitors that uh, we have started tracking. So we can see the title for each of the, the three competitors as well as our app. We can see the description side by side, and that's pretty nice. Uh, we can also see screenshots side by side, and a preview video if, if that was something that these apps did. Um, and there are a few other things that you can come down here and, and see, so we encourage you to you know, come through and, and check this overview section out of your app. Um, we're going to go through... Uh, keywords and analytics mostly, but one thing in analytics that AppTweak just did recently re release is um, download estimates. So we should be able to uh, so to get download estimates, you go and you search for um, an app. So if we search for Todoist, oops, looks like my computer is having a bit of a, a tweak itself. Uh, so if in the analytics section of any app, if you search for an app and you scroll down to uh, the bottom here, <clears throat> and you, you select analytics, oh, here we go, clicked over to Wonderlist and now we can see this information, the same overview, the keywords, um, you can see information from any app that you do a search and you save. So if you scroll down here, we should be able to see some estimates on downloads and revenue. Uh, for this app. This is a new feature that, well, it looks like we've got to upgrade our plan, but this is a new feature that AppTweak released. Now you can see download estimates and revenue estimates from uh, any app. So that's always pretty useful when you're doing uh, research. So we're going to go back to Goalie and go over to the keywords, which is where we like to spend most of our time in AppTweak. <clears throat> and there are plenty of uh, different methods for doing keyword analysis in AppTweak. So first we're going to have a list of all the keywords that we've uh, started tracking. And you can see that AppTweak has this key, KEI, Keyword Efficiency Index, and it takes into account a keyword search volume, uh, the number of competitors, uh, and basically just gives you a sense of how efficient a keyword might be to use for your ASO. Volume is going to be straight from uh, Apple's search search ad engine and that's going to tell you a scale of 1 to 100 from Apple's search popularity what is this keyword there's the competition index the number of apps to return and the growth um, period over period you can also star keywords here as we've done and then you can see all the keywords in the bottom in the graph that you've starred so you can see their progress over time <clears throat> And here you first have suggested keywords. So this is suggested suggestions straight from uh, AppTweak as to which keywords we might want to track. <clears throat> and it's pretty easy to analyze all keywords by clicking this button, or we can just select some at a time. So maybe done, we can do priority. Um, yeah, maybe work, let's try that. Um, and we can see more suggestions as well. So it's good to look through this to see if there's anything that you may have missed. Um, usually you're probably going to know a good starting place and you'll want to use the um, auto suggestions from Apple and search ads keywords to get uh, more keywords based off your seed analysis. And by seed analysis, I mean the, the seed keyword. So we start off with to do and we want to see what else is related to to do. So here we're looking at search ads. This is where AppTweak is pulling in suggestions directly from uh, search ads. And search ads is still pretty new, and so there's the keyword suggestions that they come up with. 
is probably not going to be too great at first. Um, but here are some recommending keywords that come from search ads as well. And so we want to make sure that we're tracking anything here that, um, <laughs> I'm misspelling here. We're tracking anything and interesting. To-do list routines. Yeah, so there are going to be some suggestions here that you, know, you haven't uh, considered in your keyword analysis. So make sure to check into search ads, uh, recommended keywords, and then go over to auto suggestion from Apple as well. To-do list routines. I've seen um, often that there is app for um, demographic or user base. So to-do list for teen, uh, workout app for women, uh, men's workout app. There are things that are tied to uh, specific types of people that are looking for your app or your app category. Food checklist, planner, and to-do. So as you start to check these, they'll come down and be added into your keyword analysis uh, group down here. And you can star these and you can see what the search volume is and the keyword efficiency is. So uh, moving on. Uh, we're going to go over to the auto suggestions from Apple. So here we can figure out what uh, what autofill results come back from a particular seed keyword. So the to-do list is a very important keyword of ours. That's what goalie is, and we can see what else is related to that here and track these items. Task is another important seed or root word that we're going to want to find some keywords from, so we can do that as here as well. And category is another interesting thing. It pulls down popular keywords from across the category. And again, we still have our first primary category and our second category. <clears throat> and rank keywords is pretty interesting through Apps Week. We're going to see all the keywords that uh, we're ranked for, as well as keywords that our competitors are ranked for. And we're going to see the middle of the Venn diagram, the shared space down here. So we can make sure that we're tracking everything appropriately. You can change competitors as well and see that the shared keywords will change. <clears throat> so downloads is pretty interesting as well. Downloads is app tweaks estimate of which keywords are driving the, the most downloads of your app. And from you know from a from a cursory glance here, it seems that this is pretty probably pretty accurate. Um, there's there's no way yet to tell which keywords actually drive downloads, and so the the ASO tool that's providing the estimations, you know, it's not going to really have a benchmark to be tested against, but use your, your best judgment uh, and look at the keywords that are probably branded is going to be at the top and then other keywords that have good ranks. So in the top 10, the top three and a larger volume are probably going to be the ones that follow. So here's a good, good section to check into to see whether your keywords, the right keywords, um, that you're ranking for are driving downloads. And if they're not, you may want to change your keyword mix and your strategy. You can also use some of these keywords that are driving a lot of downloads as your seed or root analysis. <clears throat> so we see that day, daily, daily um, are keywords that seem to be driving a lot of downloads. So we may look for more keywords related to daily task, daily dues, daily to do, daily organizer, uh, day organizer, day tasks. And that'll help us to find more keywords that are probably going to drive some downloads for us. So moving down into the bottom half of the screen again, we've got all the keywords that we're tracking and we can go across these uh, several different other methods for analyzing these keywords. So first is competitive analysis and we can see the keywords that we're tracking along with the rank for those keywords for other competitors. And you can add competitors here uh, and you can see where are we ranking compared to all our competitors. Where do we have a competitive advantage? Go lose a smaller app. Uh, but actually, we do have uh, a competitive advantage for daily to-do list. And so this goes back to that that daily. Daily is possibly going to be one of our better performing terms. Um, but this is a good place to see how you're doing rel relative to your competitors uh, and can build your strategy for that. Keyword's position is pretty interesting. Uh, it shows you a graph uh, four, quad, four quadrants for where your keywords shake out, depending on the search volume that they have and the competition that is there. Um, you're going to want to try and find keywords that are in the top left, high volume and low competition. It's pretty difficult. Um, we can see that only one branded 
keyword is here, Todoist. Um, but you can also find keywords that have a little less volume, and it's interesting that the skull icon is used here. Um, I would actually say that keywords in this, qu this quadrant are the second most attractive, given that they're a little higher, they, they're decent, decently high on uh, search volume, some of these up here, and yet the competition is a lot lower. This is the, the area that uh, you may want to stay away from with low volume and uh, high competition. So that's just another visual way to understand how keywords shake out and, and determine how they may play into your keyword mix or how you may want them to play into it. Optimized title and keywords is pretty interesting as well. You can start to, so you can sort by keyword efficiency index um, best to worst and start to add these keywords uh, into your your title so then you can see how your your total keyword efficiency index is doing um, as you start to build a title out of the most important keywords then once you've got that space all filled up and of course you're gonna have to rearrange these so that it makes sense in a title goalie to-do list planner goalie do to-do list planner sticky, you know, something like that. And it's going to have to fit within the 50 characters. And it's nice that um, after it gives you that uh, that count. Then once you're about filled up, goalie is going to take up some of the space. And you're going to start to add the other keywords uh, that you want to don't fit into uh, your keyword space. Again, you have this count so you can make sure that uh, you're staying within the, the total allotted area and you can see we've gone over it here but this is nice for just optimizing for the right keywords to go into your title and into your keyword space most important keywords with the best efficiency index you're going to want to go into your uh, name or title and then everything else that doesn't fit goes into your keyword space or brand names unless we have keyword monitoring so this just show you shows you um, keywords over time again this uh, competitive ranking, as well as uh, the best ranking keywords, the ones that have posted the best gains, and the worst ranking keywords for each of your competitors too. So this is pretty cool as well, and you can do this for yesterday, uh, last week, and last 30 days. So this is nice to come in and check in and say, you know, we're optimizing task and task related keywords. So this is good that we're posting some gains. Um, what are our competitors doing well in? So this is a another very handy area. So that's how we use AppTweak. Uh, it's very good for keyword analysis, uh, keyword discovery, and competitive analysis uh, with regard to keywords. And their new uh, analytics to estimate the number of downloads and revenue per app, as well as this download estimations for your keywords, is pretty useful. So we'd recommend checking it out, apptweak.com. Uh, check them out and let us know what you think. Comment in this video or send us a note. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos from Incipia.